attorneys claim the officer who choked a man to death in Clark County made a racist remark just minutes before. Yeah, Keegan, and those attorneys also say that the man riding the horse never even saw the officers coming. 16 WAPT's Jennifer Ortega joins us live in the newsroom with the rest of the story. Jennifer. Well, Tammy, the dead man's family hired uh, Chokwe Antar Lumumba to be one of their lawyers. Now, today, Lumumba told us the officer came after Jonathan Sanders with a vendetta. The report said there was a stop. There never was a stop. It didn't get to that point. Soon as the officer put his blue lights on, it startled the horse. The horse reared up, knocking Jonathan off of his horse. Jonathan got up, trying to catch his horse before his horse ran into the woods. And as he was trying to catch his horse, that's where Officer Harrington came from behind him, uh, taking him down by the light that was initially on his head when he was riding the horse that fell to his neck when he was knocked off the horse. And that's what he grabbed him from behind with, taking him to the ground. Now, Tamley, his lawyers say Jonathan Sanders had a prior pending lawsuit against the Stonewall Police for an abuse claim. They claim witnesses say before this altercation, Sanders had words with the officer in front of a gas station, and the witnesses say that officer made a racial remark. We want to warn you, it is offensive to some. The exact words of the witness that we spoke to uh, that was at that gas station said that he had more cause to be concerned with me, and he said he wanted that man. He wanted that man, and he, he used a profanity, a racial slur, a racial slur, and saying, I'm about to go get that nigga. You can, ble you can bleep it out if you want to. He said, I'm about to go get that nigga. We can't really give out any particulars to it because it is an ongoing investigation. Um, I can say that our, we've always had a good relation with the community, and we continue to have that, and we just ask that the citizens allow that to take place not to do anything uh, and try to take anything out in the streets, that uh, our door is open. Now this case is getting national attention from websites like BET.com. It's even picked up on several international newspapers. Coming up at 6, we'll hear more from the family's lawyers and why they think he was actually targeted. Brand new shocking allegation. We've never heard these before, Jennifer. Wow, thanks so much. Live in our newsroom for us. Well, again, here's a look at where this happened in Stonewall, which is in Clark County. Police are still looking into what actually happened. Now, the funeral is scheduled for this Saturday. We'll have more on WAPT.com. Well, new